Well, I'm back. I had to replace my computer because my old one died out on me. So I gotta get that one all fixed up in order to use it again. This is my computer room, as you can see. Of course, I got it kind of decorated my way, my style, whatever you want to call it. I got other things I collect too, like Coca Cola's. I kind of salvaged these from my first house from Hurricane Katrina. Unfortunately, all the bottle caps are rusted on them because they went underwater. So basically, just this one tiny room in my house I pretty much have most of my vintage stuff on shelves. I am going to make a video of this Dominion uh, fan later on. That's where I keep the tripod stand for my video camera and here's a screen for my projector. I got three more fans up there and the carrying case for my video camera and all the box fans that I have in boxes are in here too as well as that small fan This boom box needs a belt for the tape deck and this one needs uh, some work on a tape deck because it's an uh, electronic uh, tape deck. The three movie cameras, this one came from Spaz Bear. This one's a recent one that I have. As well as a projector. And two uh, 44 inch ceiling fans. my plug adapters just in case I plan to go overseas I can still plug in my video camera as well as an adapter also got a vacuum tube tester as well I saved the uh, speakers off of my uh, old computer for this one because those speakers in that flat screen monitor really sounds like shit. And what I had in my old one, I had the uh, Bose speaker system, so that's what I definitely wanted to put on this one. Sounds pretty good. That's 
where I plug the video camera in when I'm putting it up onto a computer. Let's see a little screen pop up. What a video camera looks almost like mine. HD camera is what I'm going to get next. I'm not ready to make a video yet. I'm still making it. <laughs> this fresh air I'm working on as well because I need to do some work with the uh, motor. And this that looks like a Leslie speaker is a uh, air diffuser floor fan made by Deal. In order to all that, I gotta take the motor apart. I, and I gotta t definitely take it apart to get to the back burn because the motor's upside down underneath there. The fresh air is kind of noisy because I need to put one of those uh, spacers in the uh, in the motor. So that makes a lot of noise. When you, when you lean it over. Quiet. This is how it really should sound when you lean it over. Wait. That's how it should sound. The only thing you should really hear is the propeller screaming. That's all you should really be hearing. People ask what kind of motor is in this. Some people say either Fasco or General Electric. Well, mine has a Redmond motor in it. Hold on, let me see. Redmond Company. It also has a little small two-blader fan inside the motor housing to keep it cool in the back. So look. See, got a little two-blader inside of it. Yuck. How dirty this damn thing is. There's a transformer behind this cross frame, the switch. I also got a little indicator to show you what speed it is. I'm not going to run this for too long because it's, it does need some oil. You can tell by looking how fast it stops. Yeah, it stops way too short. So, that's a project, those two projects I'm working on. As well as that Bell & Howe reel to reel underneath there. And i got to work on this tape deck up there too. Well, that's all for now. I'm going to tour my uh, computer room. Yeah. My stack of LPs. I'm afraid to show them because they might say, Oh, I saw a copyrighted uh, LP. I'm going to delete your video. Yeah.